Hey YouTubers, I wanted to take a couple minutes and talk about the truth behind the first ballot question that's going to appear on this year's New Jersey election ballot. But before I do so, and I explain how misleading this ballot question is, and the truth behind it, I want to talk about how ballot questions wind up on the ballot in the state of New Jersey. Almost without exception, ballot questions get there for two reasons. The first reason is that the legislature wants to amend the state constitution, in which case they need voter approval. The second reason, which is more frequent, especially in the case of the last five to ten years, is that the legislature needs to borrow money and under the state constitution they're required to seek voter approval to borrow or to issue bonds as well. In this case, the legislature seeking 100 to 125 to 250 million dollar bond referendum which is going to extend over the course of the next 20 years for the renovation of New Jersey public libraries. But this question has absolutely nothing to do with the renovation of public libraries. The real motivation behind this public ballot question is keeping the building lobby happy in Trenton. Um, and lately the builders lobby has been very agitated at both the Republican and the Democratic candidates for governor. The reason for this is simple. In getting their party's respective nominations, Phil Murphy and Kim Guadagno have made every promise under the sun to the Sierra Club, the NJ Conservation Foundation, um, the League of Conservation Voters, and virtually every other um, environmental lobby. In this case, the logic that lies behind the first ballot question is that if we give the builders something to do in the form of a quarter of a billion dollar in capital renovations and capital projects, infrastructure projects, that that will keep their hands off the Pine Barrens and off of public space and open space. And it will give time for New Jersey's very fragile uh, ecosystem in the Pine Barrens and the Highlands time to recuperate before the builders start their next attack. I don't take a position as to whether or not you should vote for the first ballot measure. As from a taxpayer's perspective, I want to say hell no. But from an environmentalist perspective, a quarter of a million dollars to save the bottom third of the state and the, and the top one-eighth of the state seems like a bargain.